Anyway, I uh, did some early Buddhist structures. Yeah, and uh, three, three types of Buddhist structures I'm focusing on are uh, monasteries, stupas, and uh, temples. I found a lot about stupas, the monasteries and temples. An awful lot about the early ones is mostly. Anyway, the monasteries, also known as Dahara, which is a Sanskrit word. And uh, they were originally temporary shelters uh, for Buddhist devotees. Uh, so they didn't have to be out in the weather. They grew substantially with the rise of Kama Buddhist monastic practices. They started making bigger and bigger structures uh, like that, and carved out of stone. I forgot to write down where that one was, and that's my fault. That's Bodhigaya. Yeah, there we go. But you guys already knew it. And there's an early one that was like carved out of rock. I guess a lot of them, the early ones were just like carved out of rock, from what I gather, which is cool. Here's an early one. And uh, a stupa. It's the original function of a stupa was to safeguard Buddhist relics. And those stupas are built in a rounded and hemispherical design. Well, it's been taken by the pagoda, I guess. It's what I gathered. So, uh, the, uh, there are apparently several different kinds of stupas, relic stupas, in which relics remain of the Buddha, his disciples, or lay saints, saints who were also laymen and not monks. The object stupa, in which items uh, belong that belong to the Buddha or his disciples such as a begging bowl or robe or important Buddhist scriptures, the commemorative stupa, built to commemorate events in the lives of Buddha or his disciples, the symbolic stupa, to symbolize aspects of Buddhist theology, and uh, such as the three worlds of the spiritual stages, and a uh, Mahayana Bodhisattva's character. I guess that's an example that was given. It's stupid not to step up or anything, right? Uh, okay, good. I didn't want to be up here saying it wrong. In the uh, devoted stupa constructed to uh, commemorate visits uh, or gain spiritual benefits, usually at the side of prominent stupas that are regularly visited. And there's Sanchi stupa, it's supposed to have been established by Ashoka in the 3rd century BCE. Lakhmek, in northern India, is believed to be the world's oldest, which was, I mean, I found on sources that a couple of them, a couple different ones said that they were like the oldest known or like the oldest surviving. It was a little confusing, but the consensus was that this was supposed to be the oldest one in India. And uh, in Tibetan Buddhism, there are apparently eight different varieties of stupas representing different things uh, in the top spire. Not necessarily the spire, but there's like a bit below the spire that I guess like gives a signal as to which one it is. And I found a cool graph of that. The uh, Lotus Blossom Enlightenment, Stupas, uh, Stupa of Many Doors, and we'll read them there. I was gonna do several slides of what the significance of each of them was, but that was a lot of information. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of neat that they do that. And uh, also you have temples, or shaitias, shaitias? I don't know yeah. the <coughs> pronunciation on that, but uh, also known as shrines. Uh, the Buddhist shrine or temple, which includes a <coughs> stupa within its confines, I suppose. That's what I gather, uh, similarly. Shaitias, shaitias, were freestanding structures while others were cut into living rock. The goal of building these was to be able to house a large amount of devotees, provide shelter for them, and uh, most of them included a large devotion room with a congregational hall that's attached, so you would do your devotions in one room and then they had another kind of unnecessarily socialized hall to congregate in. And uh, there's a burrow 
Buber, Barobader, and then this is in Indonesia, and those are pretty neat looking. But I don't really know if that's the best shot of showing the whole structure, but it's the neatest looking picture. And uh, this is an excavation of one that was probably very old, old enough to have to be excavated. And that is all I have. So. <laughs> Yeah. Like, do you know? Well, the Tibetan one? Or the uh, other one? I think the Tibetan one. Yeah. That's okay if you know. No, do I know? No. Okay. I was going to put that on there, but I probably should have. Maybe it's somewhere they take refuge or pray or something. Yeah, medicine. I mean, it's just, yeah, you can look it up. Okay. It's just like Tibetan <laughs> stupas, I think, is all you have to look up. That's what I found it under. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So mainly you represent the early Buddhist uh, stupa, right? Mm -hmm. okay. and, um, do you find any similarity in the West? Uh, well, uh, they have, but in the Catholic Church they have a lot of structures to put relics and whatnot, and there's a word for it. And I forget what the Catholic Church calls them. But, uh, mm -hmm. sure. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Relic queries. Thank you. I think 